Well, real quick, I thought I'd show you what the MS906 uh, series scanners has as far as the Ford power balance feature. Um, so this is a 2003 Ford Explorer. And if you go over here to Ford, let's go ahead and do a... This top line on my scanner doesn't work, so I have to go this route to, to do a uh, auto VIN or even a manual input. And I just wanted to show you what this scanner, you know, what, what it's capable of as far as the four, uh, what they call the power balance. And it's for misfires. If you got a, uh, you know, if you're wanting to see if you're, uh, you know, if all six, this has got a V6 in it. And if you want to make sure that all six cylinders are hitting evenly, that's what this is all about. So, you know, if you think you have an injector, an ignition issue, or anything that'll cause a miss, then, uh, you know, this is a handy feature to uh, use to determine which cylinder or cylinders, uh, you know, are causing the issues. And you can actually use this while you're driving down the road. So that's what's nice about it is you can load the scanner up, drive down the road, and simulate the conditions that are causing the miss, and you can watch it in real time uh, you know, as it's happening and you can see exactly which cylinders are, are having all the issues. Now the one thing I have noticed about the Autel is the refresh rate, at least on this scanner, uh, tends to be a little bit slow. Um, but we'll see how, it, it, it does still work good, it's just the refresh rate's not quite as quick as I've seen, you know, I think the launch it, uh, tends to be a little bit quicker um, and obviously on uh, the Ford's IDS uh, the, you know it's probably about as quick as it's going to get so you'd be tempted to go into diagnosis to, to get to this and you may be able to I, I haven't been able to find it in diagnosis I've had to go to service when you go to service come on uh, you're going to go to powertrain and then power balance and the screen will okay, come up with a little reminder, uh, you know, a little safety reminder, block the wheels, I guess, and stuff, parking brake. And here it is. It, it takes just a second for it to, to uh, initialize. But once it does, you've got an RPM readout down at the bottom here. And depending on what vehicle you've got uh, pulled up, it'll have the firing order uh, down here. So you've got cylinders one, four, two, five, three, and six. And, you know, anytime you see a dip, like you do right here on three, that's not bad. That's, you know, that's still probably considered good. Now this vehicle's got 266,000 miles on it. So it's probably not gonna be the smoothest running engine, uh, you know, that you guys have seen. Uh, but, you know, if you have a spike, if you had a hardcore misfire on this vehicle, let's say on cylinder four, you'd see one of these uh, lines, one of these graph lines shoot way down right here. Um, so let me rev it up a little bit. We'll see if we can get anything ha more happening here than what, what we got. Right now it's looking pretty, you know, it's looking pretty good. Okay, there's, there's a little bit of a misfire not only on one but also on four now on this engine one and four are the front cylinders this is a v6 and uh one and four are the are the front cylinders so you know you might look at that and have to kind of think well i wonder if that's an intake issue uh or something like that that, that caused that particular little dip i'm going to go ahead and put it in gear we'll power brake it and we'll see uh you know what happens then and this car doesn't have any issues as far as i know of as far as misfires Okay, I mean, I didn't really see anything too concerning there, but uh, 
you know, you can, you can see what's going on there. Uh, like I say, if it did have a misfire, you would see, you know, you'd see a dip. And I could simulate a misfire uh, pretty easy. I could go out there and pull a uh, uh, injector connector off or something and, and cause a misfire. But I think you get the point that, uh, you know, the Autel does have the power balance feature. A lot of people don't think it does, but it, it does have it. It's just in service, not in, under the diagnosis tab. Um, and you can kind of see how, you know, it, it, it's kind of a slow slower than what ideally you would you'd want to see but it, it does actually you know it just takes it a while to throw all the information up there but it is i think a live capture of what's going on you know and once it gets too busy you know you can hit clear and it'll reset it to where you know you can get a nice clean uh view of it again so anyway i just kind of wanted to show that it is a nice feature to use whenever you've got a a misfire or uh, a cylinder that's not quite uh, contributing what it should you can use this to uh, to determine which cylinder it is and, and just how bad it is rev it up to about 1500 or so Let's see if it makes any difference Yeah, like I say, probably not the smoothest running engine, but all in all, not too bad for 266,000 miles. Anyway, there you go. Again, let me let me back out of this and remember to get to it. You go to service. Um, you're going to go to the service icon right there, and then powertrain. So remember that, because I think here we'll just go in here. We'll see if I can find it one more time. I looked around in this, and I, I never did see it. I mean, I would think it'd be under PCM. You know, the only two plate, well, the only one place it looks like here would be under active test, and it's not going to be under active test. If anything, it would be under special functions, and there is no special functions on this year making model and this is the latest this is Ford 7.6 version of the software uh, which is the latest version as of uh, June uh, 2021 so yeah these are this isn't going to have a power balance feature right here so just remember you know if you're on a at least an older Ford. Now that maybe the newer Fords. I know a lot of the newer Fords do have the uh, special functions feature, and there might be a power balance under under that. But on a 2003 Explorer, you're going to have to get to it by going into service. So anyway, and like most all Fords, uh, pretty much any control module that you change out on one of these, you go into programming so that you can change a, a, a control module or a computer you know if you change the PCM ABS module or whatever uh, you can change it and the Autel will program it so that you can use it okay that's about it you guys take care